Yeah, to be exposed. <laughs> you know it hurts, but but it's a good hurts. Can we offer you guys some information before you go in there, please? Can you just give us two minutes? Would you look at the life growing inside your womb before you go and destroy it? Our kids are in school, ma'am. Sir. We don't want you to. Why are you taking your kid to kill it? You're taking your kid to kill it, ma'am. You're concerned with our children and you tell us to take them to school. Yet you're not concerned with your own child that you brought here to destroy today? How does that even make sense? Why will you not care for your baby? Why will you not give the proper care to your child? Proper care for children does not consist of sharp instruments being used to tear off their arms and legs. Proper care for children does not consist in ingesting poison to destroy the child growing within you. And yet you will educate us on proper care for our own children? What makes you think we would listen to your advice? What makes you think we would take advice from somebody who has come to a place to murder their own child? I don't understand that. You need to take advice from the Word of God that says children are a gift. Children are a blessing. That they are knit together piece by piece with great care by an infinite, powerful God who created them in His image and His likeness and who sent His Son, Jesus Christ, in the form of an embryo to go through all nine months of development inside His mother's womb, to be born into a sin-stained world where He would be rejected, where his life would be threatened very early on, where he would grow up to love people, to heal them, to teach them about mercy and justice and righteousness. And yet in his love for them, they hated him. They rejected him because they loved their own ways. They loved their own ways of violence and oppression. They loved their own ways of the approval of men, of their standing in society, of pursuing their own selfish ends. Kind of like the way that people in our society love themselves more than they love God. Love themselves more than they love their neighbor, even love themselves more than their own children. And so the people rejected Jesus Christ, just like they continue to do today. See, Scripture tells us that light came into the world, and Jesus said He was the light of the world. But men loved the darkness and they ran from the light because their deeds were wicked. And so you run from the light of Jesus Christ today into a building where you can do your deeds of wickedness out of the view of the public eye. And because you love evil, you run away from the light and you run into darkness so that you can continue to do your evil deeds. And those men who hated the light, they hung Jesus Christ on a cross because they hated the way of righteousness. They hung Jesus Christ on a cross because He exposed their sin and they loved their sin, and they would not turn away from it. 
If Jesus was standing here today, you too would hang him on a cross. You trample underfoot the blood of Jesus Christ. When you spurn his gift of mercy and forgiveness and healing and reconciliation, you crucify the Son of God again and again. We call you today to repent of your hatred of the Son of God, to repent of your rejection of His grace, to repent of your faithlessness and your love of sin, to get off of the path that leads to death and get on to the path that leads to life. Jesus said that He is the way the truth and the life and nobody comes to him but through the, comes to the father but through him and so today we offer you Jesus Christ a crucified savior who defeated death by rising from the grave 3 days later so that death might not have power over him anymore that death might not have power over those who follow Him. And He offers eternal life and forgiveness of sins to all of those who would believe upon His name. So we call you to believe upon the name of Jesus Christ today. To turn away from your unbelief. To turn away from your sin and place your faith in a crucified and risen Savior who reigns over all of creation, who sits at the right hand of God waiting to return in judgment upon those who do not love His appearing. Yeah, to be exposed. <laughs> you know it hurts, but...